police emergency. Go ahead, caller. Um, hi, um, I've just been assaulted. A call is coming in from a local hostel that has 15 emergency rooms for vulnerable adults who have nowhere else to go. We've got officers travelling to you, all right? We've been there recently. We're there all the time, aren't we? It's sheltered accommodation for homeless people and people with specific needs. So there are persons there to assist general living. Hello. This is the lady that's called the police. Uh, I lost his daughter asking for a cigarette, like we all do here. Right. And then the next thing I know, I've been like pushed over and the CCTV to prove it and I banged my head on the Where's door. the CCTV? Let me have a feel of your head. The reason I called 999 was because I'd knocked on my friend's door and he wouldn't answer the door to me. So I was banging on his door. The next thing I know, he's opened the door, pushed me flying, and I've hit my head on the wall. Not justified, but her actions were unjustified, yeah. I was, to be honest, so. Okay. In the assisted living, whether it be people banging around, whether it be live music, it causes frustration. It doesn't take much for it to go boom. Hello, I'm just moment in time, buddy. You're on the rest on suspicion of assault, OK? You don't have to say anything, but I may harm your defence. If you do not have to a question, something to later on court. And anything you say may be in evidence, all right? Your arrest is necessary to conduct a prompt and effective investigation into the offence. Right, While the suspect is taken off, to custody to be questioned, the officers are alerted to another incident involving the victim. She'll have to come in as well. She's a, a burglary was reported yesterday for her. Because it's been alleged that you've entered through a lock through a locked door and st and stolen a chicken Kiev. I need to inform you that at this time you are under arrest on suspicion of burglary of that room. Okay. After 16 years of doing this job, that was one to remember, and I think that will live with me for quite some while. All right, let's have a look and see what we've captured. Here she comes, straight in, doesn't even knock. Put a frozen Kiev down a bra. She goes back to her room and she gets in the lift. So, yeah, I mean, that's good enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The circumstances are ridiculous that she has gone into another resident's bedroom without permission yes. and has stolen a chicken Kiev. What uh, filling was it? What filling, he said, is it? Oh, oh, yeah. You get ham, are you taking the mix? You, can get, you can get cheese and ham and stuff, can't you? Oh, it's a chicken Kiev. Police arrested me for burglary of the chicken Kiev. I didn't eat the chicken Kiev. I was doing well, I was clean, I'd got myself off all opiates, but I was drinking. And that's what led to me, me being arrested, basically. I grew up in a very posh area of Ketron. We lived in a bungalow and my mother always kept it lovely, like she worked hard. My ex-partner lived with us and we had nice things. I was having foreign holidays, had a child, dog. I always had a car. Things were good. I didn't leave home until I was 24. My mum actually had the house repossessed. When my mum lost her home, yeah, I fell apart. That was when I started probably using drugs more. We lost the house, we lost the children. That was when we got put in temporary accommodation. The persons that are living in these addresses don't need just a roof over their head. They need help with their mental health, they need help with their alcohol, they need help with their drugs. Because I got arrested, I was immediately evicted. And then the council said that I made myself intentionally homeless because I got arrested. Everyone says, oh, you've reached the bottom, the only way's up. That's not true. The bottom just keeps getting deeper and deeper. There have been so many cuts that the agencies that used to assist us are no longer available. As a society, you've got to think to yourself, how have we let this happen? The woman accused of stealing a chicken Kiev was charged with theft, but the charge was later dropped. She's been staying with friends since she was evicted from the hostel. 
In five years' time, I hope that you will find me in my own home, happy, completely drug-free still, and with my children.